I'm Jeff Lesson for more 971 theticket.com. The following is a paid program. Views expressed on this program are not necessarily those of CBS Radio, its sponsors, or affiliates. Morning. Welcome to the Hardcore Mortgage Real Estate Business Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Fund. I'm your host, Harvey Fried. Alongside of me, our panel, Harry Glanz, Alex Nafusi from Capital Mortgage. Good hey, morning, buddy. gentlemen. Good morning. morning, my man. How you doing? Doing well. 902 out there. And gentlemen, welcome to springtime. Can you believe it? Our own March man. There's our own spring. We finally made it out of that winter. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, look out the window. You tell me if it's spring, away, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love it. I wore my lighter suit on the first day of spring to try to usher it in because, as you know, you can't wear, There's you know, the deal is if it's spring, you can't wear light stuff going in. But I was trying to bring it in, yeah. wearing a light suit the other day. Yeah, I don't know if those rules apply anymore. No white before, what is it, really? Memorial Day and all that, whatever. You want to look like a good humor man in uh, the middle of February? <laughs> what are you talking about, brother? Well, it is March 22nd, <laughs> 2014. Hey, hey, he is a fashion Army guy, right? All of a sudden, all Army, of a sudden, he's a fashion Army guy. He is a good dresser. Yeah, he's talking to me about fashion. I, I don't love know it. if any of our listeners have seen uh, have seen Roadhouse from, with Dalton. I That's love how that. That's how Harvey dresses. I didn't know they made pleats anymore, but you bring them back, Harvey, and, I, and, you, wear, and you wear them well with a T-shirt. I'll tell you, our own March Madness, it's uh, as difficult as it is to predict uh, the tournament in your brackets, of course. It's just as hard to predict where the mortgage rates are going to go. Of course, uh, Janet Yellen spoke the other day, and, and rates burped up a little bit, then a little bit came back yesterday. So things still at, uh, let's call it 40-year lows on the interest rate side. We've got lots to share with you. 248 248- 539-9797. we got some calls to get to. We have got a, a lot of open lines here, so definitely join our show. Gentlemen, you want to jump there, in? There are a few things that, that I shouldn't say on the air, like like four-letter words. There are also a few things Janet Yellen shouldn't say also, like four-letter words, one being rate hike. Apparently, if you, say, if you use the word tapering, it doesn't, it doesn't tank the market. If you're going to taper the, uh, the the bond buying uh, whatever you know the, the, if you say uh, you know rate hike we're going to increase rates then then it's a huge problem and it's all the same thing which which is unfortunate because everything the Federal Reserve does it, it's it, it's all the same thing but it's the way it's worded that somehow spins the market off its off its axis and I, I mean she's learning I don't I'm not going to pile on her but <laughs> she's he, learning she's learning hey listen to me. she's learning. Hey, listen just I'm just a Michigan State graduate. No big deal. Right. She is learning. She's there, learning. There, there are things, you know, there, I'm sure. They're going to sit down and so say. So you're saying the chairman of the Federal Reserve is just kind of learning. She is learning. Well, she's only the third she person is. ever to take I'm that you, job. Man, she is learning. Is that right? Harry, yeah. when I, Harry, when I was first on the show, so what, about 12 years ago, there, there, were, there were probably some yeah. things that I said you sat me down and said. Name them. Alan Greenspan, Ben Bernanke, and Janet Yellen. Yeah, what about Paul Volcker? Was he the Federal Reserve Chair? Hmm. I don't okay, think let's so. Let's not get on this. Here we go. Forget I don't think so. That. Who's Paul Volcker? Uh, know, right? Harvey, don't, don't talk. Harvey, okay. Harvey, so stop. Anyways, Harvey, stop. <laughs> so what you're talking about here, when you talk about rates, and didn't we do a 50-year history recently, 1964 to 2014? You know, didn't we talk about that? You can't really. I mean, when, when you talk about rates, this whole rate thing, you know, we've got to stop with it right now when you're talking about a seller's market, lack of homes on the market. And what you're saying, your point is, you know, people go on and when you're the chairman of the Federal Reserve, that's a very powerful, if not the most Absolutely. powerful position. And people pay attention to your every word and then look what happens. But see, we're sensitive to that because that's our industry, right? That's our industry. But in, in the real world, right now, there's nothing wrong with interest rates. You can Absolutely get not. anywhere from a 10-year to a 30-year, anywhere from the low threes to the mid fours, okay? And in history, 1964 to now, you guys were there. You saw the presentation. We all know what the rates were in the 80s. But if you could bet, right, they're not going to 18%. We could bet on that, right? We could say that with without hesitation, no 18%. But if you're sitting here on a 30-year fix that, say, in the mid-fours, would you bet that they have a propensity to go down two points or up two points? Well, they're absolutely going up. They're and, not and, going and, to two and a half. It's it, not happening. It, it's funny. And, you know, Harry, my father's, I think he's about 10 years older than you, but we, his birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday, Broski. Um, you know, we, we had dinner last night, and we were talking. You know, he's like, you know, Broski, people call your show, and, you know, they ask about interest rates. And he always tells the same story. And I've, said, I've told the same story for, for 11 or 12 years since I've been doing the show, that his first house he bought on a land contract at 11% in 1979 or 80, whatever yeah. it was. So, you know, it's the same yeah. thing. Yeah. And he, he goes, he goes, Broski, I thought I was stealing. 
And, you know, you get these cats that call up and they're like, well, you're at four and a half and I got a four and three eighths quote. Dude, I don't want to hear it, man. I talked to a dude the other day. And by the way, the market, the rates did burp up this week. The market tanked, I think, on uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday, after, yeah. After Yellen spoke. This dude, it was I had him locked in at a 15-year, somewhere in the mid-threes, and he's telling me, I, I got a lower rate. No, you don't, bro. I promise you, you don't. Whatever pop-up you got when you were looking at your creep, creepy website, whatever whatever you were looking at, but, but the pop -up, you're not getting that. Right. It's not going to happen. 248-539-9797. We're going to have a great conversation here this morning. Come and join us again. We are live and, again, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. Call us at the office all day long. If you want to refinance your house, you're looking at home purchasing. Millions of Americans are definitely talking about home purchasing. We're going to talk all about that. But give us a call at Capital. 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. As you know, again, many families, and recently there was a... Um, a uh, survey done from the National Association of Realtors, actually, to check it out. It turned out that, yeah, a lot of people want to buy. Soaring prices, bidding wars, limited supplies of homes. There's some struggles out there. You must have your approval in hand and get the upper hand on what's going on. Again, some stricter lending over the last couple of years. you got to make sure your documentation is straight, your credit straight. There's a lot of pieces of the puzzle. We'll help you through it all. Again, call Capital or here at the studio, 248 Five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We've got our first call of the day. We'll get things started right here. We got Bob calling in from Macomb. Good morning, Bob. Welcome to the show. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Morning, Bob. How are you? Doing good. Great. Got a little problem here. Uh, actually, I'm calling for my son. Um, about five years ago, he and he and his uh, then fiance uh, purchased the home, and you probably know where I'm going with this. Um, they. Uh, needless to say, never did end up getting married. Both of their names are on the mortgage. Um, uh, my son has uh, been making the mortgage payments, has never missed a payment. Um, the question is, now they both want to move in separate directions, and uh, his former fiancé would like to get her name removed from that mortgage. What are our options? You have to refinance it. You, gotta, you, there's, there's really, you can't just take her off because when you guys purchase that house or when they purchase that house... Yeah. She, she was part of the the um, she was a, a creditor on that. You know, she, her income and her credit was was part of obtaining that mortgage. I see. So, uh, my son has um, contacted the current mortgage holder, and because he's just started his own business, he's he doesn't have much to go on as far as getting approval. So they've rejected him. Right. Um, is there anything other than it? Could we apply to another mortgage company, or if if you no, no, are pretty it, much. Bob, uh, eliminated by the current holder, yeah, you're is there probably any, not going to get accepted by a new holder, yeah, correct? That is correct. Is there any way that you could kind of be a co-borrower on there? Does he intend to occupy the property? Yes, he does. Okay, could you be a co-borrower on it with him? Uh, that is an option, yes. Okay, so you might want to take a look at that. Now, in terms of the property, in terms of the property, uh, what's the value right now and what does he owe? That home is valued approximately 170000 and yeah. I think he owes about 150000 on it. Okay, there might be something we could check into for you, and I think that uh, we have some suggestions for you on how to go about this, and uh, we can walk you through that because, you know, frankly, if you can be a co-borrower on this transaction for him mm -hmm. and he wants to stay there, is, is she just going to walk away without, you know, she doesn't want any part of the little equity that's left in there. She just wants off, correct? She just wants off because she's trying to acquire loans in, on her, in her name, and they're right. refusing to uh, right. even acknowledge her because of that's correct. the lien on down. the house with her name on it. That's right. Okay, great. So what I'd like to do is, if I could, is maybe meet with you, and maybe we could discuss refinancing with me being a co-signer. Yeah, Bob, one of the things right. that I was offered all our listeners is, you know, our office is right at 12 in Pierce in Southfield. You, you guys can walk in, sh you know, shake my hand, Harry's hand, Harvey's hand. I I'm happy to meet with you. Um, let me give you a call in about an uh, hour, hour and a half, and uh, we'll okay. set something up for next week. That'd be great. Cool. Great call, Thank Bob. you, sir. Thank all you. Man. All right. What a way to start things off this morning. Again, 248-539-9797. A lot of these situations out there. Well, that's, that's often, often, you know, you get into that and, you know, whether you're planning on getting married, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend situation or whatever the situation is, the intent is always optimistic. You know, you want the house, know, you go just... together. And then, you know, the problem arises in anything. doesn't matter if you're married or not. You come to us and you say, listen, I want off. It's not as simple as saying, hey, listen, the guy's going to live there or, or, or the woman's going to live there. They're just going to walk away. I want to sign my name off on the you liability. You can't just take it no, off. No, it just doesn't work that yeah, way. You can't, it's, not, it's, not, you know, it's not like just you know, DQing on it. No. Nope. But uh, one of those things, the, the, you know, Bob, the, 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 the caller, he can call a sign for his son and, and get her off. I mean, right. Absolutely. Man. We can get that done. 248-539-9797. We come back. All your calls. Uh, 
50 years, Earhart BMW has served Metro Detroit. Now enjoy incredible savings on the new 2014 BMW 320i X-Drive, starting from $329 per month for 36 months with $3,500 down. Visit Earhart BMW Bloomfield Hills, Farmington Hills, EarhartBMW.com. No one markets your home more aggressively than me and my team. We spend more money on marketing your home in a single month than most agents spend all year, and that gets results. This is Realtor Jeff Glover. Want to see your home listed on the first page of Google, Zillow, Yahoo, or see your home for sale on a billboard? Those are just a few of the things we can do for you. But don't just take it from me. Hi, this is Mike Craig from Brighton, Michigan, and I called Jeff Glover when it was time to sell my house. And just like the ads say, he gave me a clear and concise plan to market my house, and he delivered on that plan. Jeff got me a great price for my house with no contingencies. That's money in the bank. Homeowners who sell their homes with Jeff get an average of 98% of their asking price and sell their homes in an average of 23 days. Call Jeff Glover today at 855-JEFF-SELLS. Whether your home is in Novi, Shelby Township, Brighton, Birmingham, Clarkston, or Ann Arbor, Jeff Glover will get it sold. Call Jeff at 855-JEFF-SELLS or online at 855-JEFF-SELLS.com. Realtor Jeff Glover. A house sold name. Jeff Glover is affiliated with Keller Williams Realty. So you're telling me you really don't know how to play poker? Nope. You've never heard of a full house? Sure, when my in-laws come over. No, no. How about two pairs? No, thanks. I like apples better. Mm. Ever drawn three of a kind? Drawn? Um, no, I'm not very artistic. You know what? The Michigan Lottery has the perfect game for you. Really? Yep. New Poker Lotto, the game that combines the sudden excitement of winning instantly and the big nightly jackpots of a lotto draw. And best of all, you don't have to know anything about poker to play. Good, because when it comes to poker, I don't know Jack or King or, or Queen. queen. <laughs> no problem. Here's the deal. Get a ticket at a participating retailer and watch your poker cards being dealt right on the in-store lottery monitor. There are 13 ways to win. You could win up to $5,000 instantly. Cool. And then take that same ticket home and it becomes a lotto ticket. Good for the Poker Lotto nightly drawing where you could win up to 100 Grand. Two chances to win? Yeah. Feel me in. Be glad to. Wow. Who knew? I'm a poker player. Not a poker lotto player. Right? New poker lotto from the Michigan Lottery. It's two great games in every hand. Yeah. Hi, Harry Glance for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, so what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. Look, if you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Capital Mortgage Funding is a proud division of United Shore Financial Services, and MLS number 3038, equal housing lender. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. Thinking about a new deck for summer, or maybe your existing deck is buckling or cracked and need up some TLC, then you need to get to the huge annual deck event this Saturday, March 22nd at Lumberjack Building Centers in New Baltimore. Experience beautiful new composite decking guaranteed for 25 years. This Saturday from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Save big money on everything. Bring your questions, photos, and ideas to talk to deck experts and contractors this Saturday, March 22nd, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Lumberjack Building Centers in New Baltimore. Visit lumber-jack.com. Hi, I'm Rich Renko, the new general sales manager here at 97.1 The Ticket. Now, I haven't been here long, but I can honestly tell you that this is a great place to work. One of my goals is to expand our sales team. I'm looking for aggressive sellers who truly understand sales, integrated marketing, and can develop new business. If you have a passion for sales, I want to hear from you. Call 248-327-2745, and let's talk about a new career possibility. That's 248-327-2745. CBS Radio is an equal opportunity employer. When Captain America is called into action, he faces off against global threats and puts it all on the line. Fortunately, at Rena Center, there's an easier way for you to be a hero. Right now, you'll find heroic deals on the merchandise you want, and you can score a ticket to see Marvel's Captain America The Winter Soldier in theaters April 4th. Don't wait. Do things the easy way. Be the hero at Rena Center today. Rentals purchase transaction. Ticket offering 4514. Number one ticket for customer. For terms and conditions, visit rentacenter.com slash hero. 24 Seconds Bar and Grill in Berkeley is the place to be for everything sports. Catch every second of the tournament with great drink specials every game, all day and night. Reserve your seat on the opening day shuttle. Seats going fast. 24 Seconds in Berkeley. 24SecondsBar.com. The hardest working sports fans in America are here on 97.1. The Welcome back to the show. Till 10 o'clock, it's the Hardcore Mortgage Show. Brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funny at 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Hey, we always take your emails at mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. 
and always your calls here in the studio at 248-539-9797. A lot of great things to discuss. I want to throw out there, we actually uh, have a uh, free home buying discussion. We we're going to call it a seminar. It sounds a little uptight, but this is really cool. A couple guys at the office, these are licensed mortgage professionals, are going to be throwing an event on April 26th. And if you want to register for that, be sure to call us here in the studio or at Capital Mortgage at 1-800-LOW-RATE. Again, it's going to be at the Bloomfield Township Library coming up on April 26th. Where is it at? Uh, Bloomfield Township Library. That's Lone Pine and Telegraph area. Hey, here's another reason. Free donuts and coffee and credit reports. It's important that you get that credit report in your hand. I don't know about the donuts in your tummy, but definitely get that credit report in your hand. If you've had some blemishes over the past, you can definitely get things straightened out. We've got the software program, the credit expert program that helps us. Get your credit score up, and there's a lot of different things you can do. The, the most important thing is get educated about the process. Again, we're taking all your calls here in the studio, 248 539 9797. Harvey mentioned the, uh, that credit expert program, and I think that it's, it's some really, really cool software we have. What it allows us to do is it allows to run your credit report, and then it allows me to send it through this. Well, I don't know, I don't know what happens, it's the, the software, but it tells me what you, you need to pay off or pay down and the impact it's going to have. On, on your credit score. So, for example, if you have a, a, a Visa card and you know, and there's three thousand dollars on it, and the limit's six thousand, it'll tell me, hey, you know, have uh, have Jimmy pay his credit card down, you know, the balance down to a thousand bucks, and uh, it's going to have, uh, you know, his score's going to go up uh, forty six points, and that's important now because everything since the whole mortgage, I call it the mortgage revolution, where everything becomes based on on loan to value and credit score. That's a big deal. I mean, you know, six six ninety nine versus seven twenty one. There's a huge difference in rate, and when I say huge, it's probably exaggeration. But so if it's a quarter point, so if it's thirty bucks over thirty years, that adds up, man. There's well, a difference in your be, scores. Yeah. It should be better. The you know, money's better in your pocket. Money saved. Absolutely. But, man. but what we find is that the process of understanding your credit report, most people that we find that are going through the process don't understand what the true impact of their credit score has. So what they'll do is they'll apply for a credit card or they'll go onto one of those, you know, creditkarma.com or freecreditreport.com and get a credit report, and it doesn't truly depict their credit score. Absolutely And not, so no. it'll, it'll come back with one um, bureau reporting, and that's really not what we use or any mortgage lender uses to determine what somebody's rate that they can qualify on. So we take the, uh, the middle of the three credit scores to determine what program, what interest rate, you know, what score that we can use in the process of underwriting and really qualification for a mortgage. So if you went on one of these free services and it says that you have a 712 credit score, well, that might be that might be high or it might be low. You just don't really know until you sit down with somebody and uh, you give them all your information. We can pull a, a tri-merge credit report, I, which I, is I what think we the, use. Th- those are good sites, though, because it will tell you. It'll give you a barometer of, of kind of where you're at. Obviously, you know, if you, if you have a 510 credit you know, score, you get you have issues. Informationally, I think it's yeah, wonderful. I I'm think that you, we, p- we possess a lot of tools now that we can go ahead and, on the periphery, go ahead and, uh, you know, try to qualify somebody. But you have to really drill down and understand what the credit reporting mechanisms are. And, uh, and that's what we do. Yeah, a lot of times you might just be able to delete a few accounts. Like you said, Alex, just lower the balance and away you go. You move your credit score up 20 points. It qualifies you for maybe just a little bit of a better deal, maybe a reduction in the PMI or something of that nature, even including the interest rate. You know, there's – I'm sorry. Go ahead, buddy. No, go ahead. Roll was, there's a, there's actually a gentleman that, actually, that works here at the station. You know, him and his fiance are buying a house and taking care of it for him. And, you know, it, it, it's – I like to sit them down. You know, they're they're younger than me. I feel like I, like I'm all of a sudden I'm old. You're like, older. You know, I, I I know. I feel You're like I, I know. I, I'm, I'm not matured. I'm older. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. it, and the cool thing is, it's like you know, I, I, they came in. I sat down with them, and I said, you know, here's what we're doing. In A, B, and C, we, we looked at her credit, we looked at his credit, and you know, and, and they're buying their first house. And there's a lot of things that even if you're even if you pay attention to your credit and you you, you get your credit report, there are a lot of things that come up. But you just you just want to deal with well, you know and take care of. It's a transaction that uh, dictates skill and, ac- and expertise, man. and there are plenty of ways. And we have the tools at our you know at our disposal to access and and really get in depth because you know what a, a few points in a credit score can determine whether you're going to get a house or whether sure. you're not going to get a house. It can determine what program is really most beneficial for you, and it can determine what your payment's going to be. All right, two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We've got some open lines here. We'd love to hear from you again. We are answering all questions about mortgages. Anybody and want real to talk estate? about appraisals this morning? Uh, no, I don't. we could get into I that a little bit. Actually, it. Zillow did a survey the other day here, and uh, they did a, uh, a survey to determine over the next twelve months. What does Zillow's survey have to do with me? 
Well, this is pretty cool because it means nothing uh, to me. Actually, the highest group well, of I like people. It, go ahead. The go highest ahead. group of people that wanted to purchase a house was renters, current renters out there. So, sort of a shout out out there if you're currently renting a home and or an apartment, you would be amazed to find out what your payment could be for for the dollars you're spending. Again, landlords love you if you're making payments on time. They love you. They don't want you to go anywhere. But uh, that should be the sign that home ownership well, is something for you. You know, Alex, we talk about the credit report mechanisms sure. that you can go on and the and the sites that you can go on to kind of give you a barometer. Um, you know, Trulia and Zillow, and it's just a barometer. It doesn't mean your house is worth that. The only way you can really determine what the market value when you go ahead and when we lend is going ahead and getting a, a bona fide appraisal on it. Now, there's always going to be discussions whether, you know, people are, are very, and they should be, you know, they're very proprietary about their house. They take it personally. They, they made some, you know, they added yeah, on. They added a man's room, a man cave, whatever. There's certain things that help the value, and there's certain things that don't help the value. But the bottom line right now is, is that hopefully sales, okay, have made appraisals go up. Natural appreciation has come back. But there's still some pockets, some areas where you're not going to get the value that you think that you're going to get. All right? The only way you can truly determine... What a lender is going to lend on is if we do a bona fide appraisal on it. And it has to be, again, an in-depth bona fide appraisal. Well, I think you know the markets come back really, really quick. And I, and I think it's a, it's a very, very good thing. And, and some of the issues that, you know, that we have now w- w- with values are on purchase transactions because you, you see people – it's supply and demand. There's not a lot of good houses on the market, so you almost get a bidding war sometimes. I think a good agent – you know, one of the guys that I use all the time is Dan Dubansky from Scout Real Estate. He meets the appraiser. At the at the property, and he says, "Hey, here's where here's how I got four twenty five for my purchase price. These are my these are my five comps, and here, I'd like you to look at these. And, and that's that's a big deal. When when you get some of these some of these realtors, they you know they, they like I said, they work at Saks on Monday, they work at Whole Foods on Thursday, and they sell a house a quarter. It's not going to end well for you. I promise you, it's not going to end well. A good agent's going to going to meet the appraiser there and say, "Hey, man, here's how I got to this value." And we're all guys. We're all on the same team. It's not it's not 1997. It's not the Red Wings versus the Color uh, Avalanche. I mean, we're all on the same team. Everyone wants to get the transaction taken care of and get it closed. We're all on the same team. I can't stress it enough. Definitely more professional people in a transaction will increase your uh, your success in the transaction, make things go a little bit smoother. And again, a lot of reasons why. It's obviously nice when the listing agents meet the appraisers out at the house, give them full access to the home. Again, as you mentioned, Alex, provide additional comparable sales. Or, actually, or, or, or the selling agent. A- anybody. If you're, if you're my realtor and you sell me a house for $500,000, I want you to be at, at that appraiser to make sure th- that I'm getting a good deal. Well, you can get the heads up on, too, if there's any repairs required, if it's an FHA transaction and there's some man. situation with uh, some of the things that FHA might uh, want to take a look at. Again, uh, how old's the roof? Again, now that the snow's come off the uh, the houses, you can see what's going on with the roof. You can see what's going on inside the house. You got you know a on. like that this past week. Harvey, we always have situations. Yeah. We're always what doing things. Your, what happened to the roof? Tell me about the roof. Uh, just needed a roof inspection. You can't see it when there's snow on there, right? right? You might have that's some true. curling shingles. You never know. Yeah, the but, term. But, that, but that's true because here's yeah, the thing: of course man. it's true. If, if there's snow on the roof and we lend someone two hundred thousand dollars and the roof ends up being bad, they're going to come back on us. You it, have to. That's listen, man. I, I'm I'm here. To protect, I'm not being a pain in the ass. I don't. I, I'm trying to protect you. That is, I, I know. I don't know. No story, doubt. But is there something that happened? A roof no, inspection had no, to go back out. No big deal. Dude, we're yeah. trying. We're trying to protect you as a as a home buyer. That if if you buy that house and the roof collapses the following well, month, here, watch who are you going to come back? We're coming off the worst winter in over a hundred years. My house is taking a beating. So man. everybody's house is taking a beating. Concrete oh. work, roofs. Um, sewer lines, sewer yeah, lines are in- ice dams yeah. up on roofs, things of that nature. So why wouldn't we go ahead and condition for a roof inspection? Don't you want to know? Don't that you want to know your roof is okay? <laughs> that has a, does it have a three to five year lifespan? Does it have a five to ten year lifespan? I mean, what's the situation? So why? Did why I miss would, a story this week? No, so why would any, why would anybody give anybody a hard time about they should go- reinspecting? Not at all. Okay. The significance behind uh, doing any inspection, obviously, is to make sure that the house is sound. Again, the cost to do some of these repairs can be several thousand dollars. Again, not to mention the fact that you might have water coming in through your roof. It could cost you four to $7,000 or a whole lot more if the house is even bigger than so, that. So you, the best part of a story like this, if there's a circumstance, because there will always be a circumstance, is now that the weather is starting to get better, the snow is starting to melt, that if you had a closing scheduled for next Monday... But there's still snow on there, and you can't get up there. And then the closing has to be postponed for three or four days. 
What's the big deal? Well, I mean, what guys, is the big deal about that? If, if you're if you're buying a house, and let's just I mean again for for the sake of this conversation, if you're putting down ten thousand dollars and you have twelve thousand bucks in your savings account, if the roof is bad, that's a huge problem. I'm trying. Listen, I don't like to make you guys jump through more hoops. I want to make you guys jump through less hoops. I'm trying to help you, but and the same thing. I want to make sure your roof's okay. I mean, exactly. it, 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 roofs are ten grand to fix. All right, we're At up least. against our second break. We've got tons of great information to share with you. All our great new programs, and we'll be right back. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Your successful and fulfilling career in criminal justice begins at Oakland University. As long as crime exists, careers in the criminal justice field will continue to be in demand to protect the peace and safety of our community. With an OU criminal justice degree, you may choose a career to help prevent or solve crimes, deal with the causes of criminal behavior, or punish and rehabilitate the offenders. Perhaps working as a probation officer, evidence technician, private investigator, court reporter, and more. You're invited to an interactive information session on Tuesday, March 25th at OU's Anton Frankel Center in downtown Mount Clemens. Learn how you can stand out in the field with one of six degree program specializations, including law enforcement, courts, corrections and treatment, juvenile justice, homeland security, and information security and assurance. Reserve your place today for the March 25th information session at oakland.edu forward slash Macomb. That's oakland.edu forward slash Macomb. Oakland University in Macomb County. I'm a professional drunk driver. I know how to get home after drinking. How? I take the side streets. I turn off the radio. I don't speed. Or wear a hat. I stay out of the fast lane. I drive with the windows down. I keep both hands on the wheel. I just focus really hard. I don't pass. Don't tailgate. I... I'm going to stop you right there. As a police officer, I've heard all the excuses. I know all the so-called tricks. If you drive drunk, I will find you, catch you, and arrest you. We've stepped up enforcement and put more officers on the streets. So trust me when I tell you we're cracking down on drunk driving. You don't want to get thrown in jail, lose your license, and pay a bunch of legal fees. So don't drive drunk, and you won't get a DUI. Because bottom line, if you drive drunk, with or without your hat on or while taking side streets, I'll catch you, drive sober, or get pulled over. A message from the Michigan Office of Highway Safety Planning. If you're shopping for a new health plan, make sure you look at the additional costs beyond the monthly premium. Suddenly, that monthly payment might not look so good. With HAP, you'll get more for your money, plus access to leading doctors and hospitals and award-winning customer service. If you want the most for your money, choose HAP. And remember, March 31st is the last day to sign up for a 2014 health plan. So call 855 with HAP or go to choosehap.org slash total cost. If you try to purchase a gun for someone who can't, you can buy yourself 10 years in jail. If a friend or relative asks you to lie to a federally licensed firearms retailer so you can buy a gun for him, don't do it. It's not worth 10 years in jail. Whatever you do. Don't lie for the other guy. This message is brought to you as a public service by the NSSF, the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Remember, don't lie for the other guy. Visit them on the web at don'tlie.org. It's magnificent. It's incredible. It's spectacular. It's amazing. And we can finally tell you what it is. It's the Bell Tire Warehouse Sale. This Sunday only from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Get the lowest tire price, period. Plus an extra $50 off select sets of four new tires with installation. This Sunday only. For one day only, every Bell Tire store will be open for six short hours to offer you extra savings of $50 off select sets of four tires. Plus, now through March 30th at Bell Tire, when you purchase any four PF Goodrich passenger or light truck tires, you'll get a $50 MasterCard reward card through mail-in offer. See store for details. No service will be performed on Sunday, but certificates for later installation will be available this Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. only. Get an extra $50 off select sets of four new tires. It's magnificent. It's incredible. It's spectacular. It's amazing. It's the Bell Tire Warehouse Sale. Don't miss it. This Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. only at every Bell Tire. This Sunday only from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Get to Bell Tire's Warehouse Sale and get an extra $50 off select sets of four tires. For more information or the Bell Tire nearest you, go to belltire.com. Bell Tire. Your bracket's complete and your foam finger is ready to rock. So all that's left is to watch the games at your favorite Hooters. Visit Hooters.com backslash hooky for game day food offers and excuses to get you out of the office and into the action. 
news all day, every day. This is 97.1 The Ticket. Brought to you by Meyer. Upsets in the NCAA last night. 14 seed Mercer takes out Duke. 78-71. It was 12 seed Stephen F. Austin. 77-75 over 5 seed VCU. Two bursts in the Sweet 16 at stake today between Michigan and Michigan State. They both got a chance to get there. Michigan State facing 12 seed Harvard. Meanwhile, Michigan taking on Texas. Texas averaging 15 offensive rebounds per game. Pistons lose their four straight falling at Phoenix, 98-92. Red Wing hockey today right here at 97 won the ticket. Wings in Minnesota. That begins at 140 our broadcast. Wings currently one point behind Columbus. For the eighth and final playoff spot in the East, Wings have one game in hand. Tigers acquired 28-year-old shortstop Andrew Romine from the Angels for left-hander Jose Alvarez. He played in 47 games last year and hit 259. And they lose reliever Bruce Rondon for the year to Tommy John surgery. From the 1-800-CALL-SAM studios, I'm Jeff Lesson. For more, 971theticket.com. At home, in your car, or at work. Detroit's Sports Station. Welcome back to the show. You're listening to the Hardcore Mortgage Show, brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Also, you can shoot us an email to mortgage.show at lowrateonline.com. Lots of great ways to get in touch, including here at the studio, 248-539-9797. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry about that. Talking to a lot of realtors last week and uh, subsequently this week. You know, they can't wait for the weather to break because, you know, between next week and the week after, not only is it the start of baseball season, but it's going to be the start of home buying season officially. A lot of signs are going to go in the ground. Uh, the weather is going to get nicer. Yeah, believe it or not, the weather will get nicer. And you're going to see some homes pop on the market. And people right now, they're getting their homes ready to put on the market. You know, you don't want some, you want, you know, you want people to walk in your house when the weather's nice and, uh, you know, the house is clean and people are cleaning it up. And that's what's going on. And, you know, it's really a tremendous market out there right now. And we did a little thing a couple weeks ago where, you know, we gave a speech to the Chamber of Commerce. We did the economic forecast. And, and really, everybody's extremely optimistic. As a matter of fact, home values right now, as a statistic that was uh, put out by one of, the, one of the realtors, you know, the values are 87% back from where they were 2005, 2006. That's pretty good from the depths of despair where we were when America was on a half-off sale. Oh, definitely a long when way to was going back. 50%. So we've come back a long way. And what... What has happened in our market, it's turned out we're in a very, very hot market right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. Things are really looking good here. Again, definitely a serious slump across the country and uh, across, obviously, here in southeast Michigan. It disrupted the market, but uh, most people think that it's coming back big time. Actually, our numbers at the beginning of the year uh, similar to July of 2012. So it's been busy the last couple of years, and we're expecting a great home buying season. If you're out there considering purchasing a house, be sure to call us here in the studio or a capital mortgage at 1-800-LOW-RATE. Get that real approval in hand. Give yourself the education you need to move forward, understand all the numbers that are involved, and make it really a smooth and uh, easy process. 248-539-9797. Talk real quickly, and I'm going to go to this caller out there, some of the great new programs out there. We've got so many things to offer you. Again, you can buy zero down in just about any county here in southeast Michigan under the USDA Rural Development Loans. Those loans are very easy to obtain. There's money available still. Also to all our veterans out there, we got lots of ways to save you guys money. Purchase a house zero down. Of course, you use your VA eligibility. And then more importantly, if you currently have a VA loan that you haven't refinanced, be sure to call Capital Mortgage. We have the VA uh, interest reduction loan. It's outstanding. Uh, no appraisal required. Lots of opportunity, especially if you're underwater. Don't think that uh, you're up against a wall. We can get that done for you. Again, if you've been probably paying anything over 4.5%, give us a phone call. Let's find out what we can do. A lot of times we can flip, flip you into oh, actually another that, loan. That's yeah. a great point, man. I want to bring that up again is that, you know, if you're on a VA loan right now, you, you can do an interest reduction loan. There's no appraisal. More often than not, we can cover all the costs for you. It's it's a very, very good program where you're really just reducing your interest rate. It's good. It's a very streamlined process. And that's one of the things I'm really passionate about is taking care, you know, taking care, taking care of our veterans. It's, uh, you know, you know, we come in here and, uh, you know, in, in the summer, you know, I, I leave here and I usually, I usually go play golf. And, you know, I, I mean, I have a ton of respect for these guys. And th there's nothing that, you know, that I want to do more, you know, that help these guys, and that, you know, that, that allow us to, to walk around the way we do. So, I mean, if, you, if you're on a VA loan, if you're a veteran, you can buy zero down with no PMI or if you're in a VA loan right now. Uh, you know, we, we can refinance that and lower the rate for you. Yeah, so get it man, done. There's, there's nothing I would do more than help you guys out. Definitely. Let's try William out there in Gross Point Park. Good morning, William. You're live on the ticket. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yeah, good morning. I'm calling in uh, perhaps about uh, about the potential of a, a refi. 
Okay. Certainly. Um, currently been living in a residence in, in, in the park uh, for about 14, 15 years. House probably is worth about 165. Um, credit about 730. Um, but unfortunately, I took a buyout about seven or eight years ago. And then I had some family, uh, took care of some family members and they haven't worked in about seven or eight years. Well, obviously, when I go to refi, um, and I'm not gainfully employed. I felt negative reactions. What's, That's uh, for sure. Where's the income coming from? How are you living? Uh, basically, I have a little trust. So are you, are you paying taxes on that trust? Yeah. So if, if you look at the bottom right hand right hand side of your 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 um your 1040s, your tax returns, mm-hmm. what's that what's that number? The adjusted well, gross income. Took, yeah. What do you make every year? What I took out that uh, one sixteen. Yeah, are you are you taking out a steady amount every month, or how how are you? How yeah, are you going? Yeah, out? until uh, you know, until it rains that day or something. Yes. Yeah, sure. So if we can we can show that you're taking a steady amount out, and we can show that you have thirty six months in there. I, you know, that there's a a program that we can put you on. Okay. Okay. This sounds doable. Thanks for the call, William. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna William, have to follow as long, up with them. As long as yeah. there's income coming in. We, we can do something for you, man. So it's based on your tax return. But let, let me okay, based on okay. Yeah, do me a favor, William. Pull your pull your uh, your your 2011 2012 1040s together, and I'll call after the show and see what I can do for you. 2011 2012. Right, your 1040s. Okay, well I'll tell you what. That's probably at my accountant's office. Um, okay, no, do you okay. have a what's your office number? Two four eight. Um, uh, it's one hundred low rate. One eight hundred low rate. But we're gonna follow okay. up with you right after the show. Thanks. Oh, we'll get in touch Thanks, with you. Thanks, man. Thanks. Again, a great uh, thing you brought up there was it's getting closer to April 15th, believe it or not. If you haven't filed your 2013 tax returns, definitely get them done. There's lots of reasons why you need to get them done, especially if you're self-employed. If you want to use that income for your qualification of your mortgage this spring or summer, you got to be able to get those into the IRS. They must register them in order that we're able to obtain the transcript. So there's things involved right. in getting a mortgage that weren't around years ago. That's folks. right. And, and all, all of my accountant friends who are sitting in their office right now listening to this show because, you know, there's a plethora of them out there. They, <laughs> they, all, have to, they all have to go to bed early now and they wake up early and, you know, April 15th, 15th is a magic day. Okay, yeah. yeah, you know, when they when they hit, finally they hit that button. That, it used to take them four hours to do a return. Now they hit a button it takes them 30 seconds. But anyways, they would have appreciate if you get in there and get your stuff to them so they can go ahead and file it. Then that way, when you file and it's registered with the IRS, we can pull your 4506T transcript and then verify everything that you file with the IRS. All right. So, yes, that's what's happening right now. 248-539-9797. It segues right into the is refinance that, is question. Is that cool, Alan and Gordy? I gave you a shout-out. Is that cool? <laughs> they didn't even know. They were yeah, listening, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, there's no fancy name for it, folks. It's basically... We're definitely not a stuffy company, I can tell you that. No, <laughs> yeah, we are not a stuffy, stuffy company. Well. <laughs> yeah, but that's, how about that stale crew I gave that speech to the other day? You talk about oh, stuffy. Were, oh, was, my God. It was, it was hey, you can, crickets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, and, I, and I was livening the thing up. Here, one one of our here this, here. Let me tell you, we need a little more coffee in uh, some of those cups. The, on, sure. One of our employees, a a, a high producer at Capital Mortgage. One of the yes. the other, I think I think he might be a senior vice president. Yes. Went to watch Michigan State on Thursday, and he may have been overserved. Okay, and he left his credit card at the bar. Oh um, boy, which which on a regular day that that's no big deal. Okay, it happens sometimes. Charles sure. buddies but, charged but, it up, right? But what's what's odd about this is it was an open bar and everything was free. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't, like, what does that have to do with our show? Go to the next caller. They were, they were, they were not. They were regular people, man. I just, I just want to help out Southern State Michigan. So Good morning, Bill out there in Richmond. Then Drew, stay on the line. We're coming right to you. Hey, Bill, what's going on out in Richmond? Hey, good morning to you. Morning, Bill. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How are you, sir? Good. Good. Yeah, I'm a uh, somewhat of a private investor. I got 12 rental homes, two of them which are paid off free and clear. And going the conventional route through the banks, credit unions, so on and so forth, to not qualify being self-employed um, because of the new regulations. I'm wondering if anyone there uh, would have a line on uh, hard money, I guess it's called, or private mortgage um, uh, mortgages. You know, Bill, unfortunately, you know, you can only have X amount of loans based on Fannie Mae guidelines. This is my mortgages out there as, as you're dealing with right now. Um, you really, I mean, you're doing, I think it's awesome that you have 12 rental properties and it's a great way to go. Unfortunately, what you're going to run into right now is you're going to need that, that private money. Um, I, I don't, I mean, our firm as a whole doesn't have any, you know, we don't do loans like that, 
But um, I mean, uh-huh. you, you're really to the point now where you're going to have to start pulling in investors to your company. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, do, you, do you have any suggestions how to do that? You know what? I, I don't. I, I'm not a huge. I'm not a huge referral person because if you give someone a referral and it goes well, you're you know you're a hero. And if it goes south, you know they call right. you and tell you what you know what, what a jerk you are. Um, you yeah, know, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I wonder what private money but, is out there. There are some you know, opportunities at high is, rates. I'd like to have a conversation with you after the show, maybe off the air, and see what we can figure out for you. Okay. Um, let me call you uh-huh. in about twenty minutes, and we'll see what we can do for you. All righty. Okay, thank you. Cool, thanks, we are up against another break. Stick it here. Uh, 248-539-9797. We'll be right back. Uh, welcome to Golfers Anonymous. My name is Larry, and I am a golfer. Hi, Larry. Hi. Now, before we start our meeting, let's meet our new member. Uh, hi. Um, my name is Bob, and uh, <clears throat> I'm a golfer. Hi, hi Bob. Um, it's all right, Bob. Tell us why you're here. Well, I'm um, feeling a little shaky, Larry. Mm-hmm. They're having demo days at Carl's Golf Land every Saturday through March. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you say demo days? Um, yes. Uh, with reps from big-name manufacturers? Yeah. And you can try out the newest clubs on their driving range? With heated tees. Heated tees? Uh-huh. Uh, pe- people, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I can't. Wait a minute. You mean we're here when we can be at Carl's? Yeah. People, I say we go right over as a test of our resolve. Oh, yeah. Our resolve. All right. in favor. Oh, right. Media journey. Wait a minute. Friends, we've come so far. What do you have to say for yourselves? Bye, Larry. Saturday, try out the newest products from golf's top manufacturers during demo days at both Carl's Golfland locations, Bluefield Hills and Plymouth at St. John's. Jenna from Clarkston has a question for DTE Energy, and we have Kate here to help answer it. So, Kate, how can Jenna save energy and money? Well, don't worry, Jenna. We have a lot of online tools to help our customers be more efficient and save money. Oh, I love saving money. Can I borrow a dollar? Sure. But how about I just tell you to go to our energy efficiency house? That'll help you find energy savings tips for inside and outside. Excellent. Now, talk to me about lighting. When you know when you go to the store and you're overwhelmed by all of the choices and light bulbs? I'm constantly overwhelmed. The lighting guide is going to help you with that. It gives you information on what's changed in lighting and what to look for when buying bulbs. There's tons of varieties, right? Oh, yeah. You can even have them in your dining room chandelier. Now, talk to me about this My Energy Analyzer. It's an interactive tool that's going to help you evaluate where the savings are in your house based on how you use energy. So the best thing to do is for people to go to dteenergy.com slash save energy, right? Yep. There you'll find over 100 energy savings tips, links to videos, and information about all of our rebates. I hope that answered your question, Jenna. And thanks to Kate from DTE. DTE Energy. Know your own power. With Qdo is new fiery queso diablo and new zesty queso verde queso bliss is in full effect at mike finney 39 tweets i know we've only just met and some may say it's too early but i love you queso diablo hashtag queso bliss love it at sammy salsa says in serious need of the verde queso from q yep queso from q do be trended try new queso diablo and queso verde then tweet all about it with hashtag queso bliss for a limited time only at Qdoba Mexican Grill. Attention new car buyers. Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, America's number one volume dealer, is having a special end of the quarter inventory sell down. We're offering incredibly low award season event pricing on all new 2014 vehicles. Very special lease deals on our best selling models with many under $200 a month and select models under $150 a month. We have over 2,000 vehicles to choose from. As a convenience to you, we offer same day delivery. Bring all the necessary documents and you can drive your new car home. Your trade-in is worth more at Parkway, $2,000 more. The appraised value plus an extra two grand. You trade high and buy low. Our lease pull-ahead program gets you out of any lease with a $3,000 or less payoff. No strings attached. So bring your old title and drive home in your new car the same day. Now through the end of the month, only at Parkway Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Paul Road in Clinton Township, where you literally show up, sign up, and ride. Hope it's Saturday, 10 to 3. See dealer for details or Parkway CPJ. 24/7. Here's something you don't hear on the radio every day. Someone who can't see. I am totally blind, and I go through periods where I'm unable to sleep at night and feel like I'm constantly running but can never quite catch up. But this isn't a sleep problem. It's something called non-24. Learn about the link between total blindness and your symptoms. 
Visit LearnMoreNon24.com or call 855-856-2424. Sponsored by Vanda Pharmaceuticals. Today, meet the Ticket Street Team at Zot M59 Dodge Ram in Highland from noon to 2. You could win a pair of tickets to see the Harlem Globetrotters April 19th. Plus, watch the Raminator crush some cars. More at 971theticket.com. Monday, March 31st, 10 to 8, Grand Circus Park. 97 won the tickets, opening day block party. Presented by Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort. Fun, food, music, and cold beer. Don't have game tickets? Catch the game on our big screen. Brought to you in part by McDonald's, Wine Guard Salon and Garden, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. No soft zones here. 97-1, the ticket. Thanks for bringing us back. There's Jack White and... Uh... The White Stripes here. We are local. Give us a call, 248-539-9797. It's the Hardcore Mortgage Show brought to you by Capital Mortgage Funding. We've got a whole bunch of open lines, 946 here this morning. And we'll go right to our callers. We've got Don out there in Southfield. Good morning, Don. You've got a refinance question. Go ahead, sir. Good morning, guys. Uh, My question is that I've got uh, an interest rate of 6.5%. I've been paying on it for 18 years. It's a 30-year fixed mortgage. Will I save money? And I'm not talking just monthly payments because I understand monthly payments, yes. But will I save money if I refinance now? Don, it's a great question. And our firm has has a really cool program. It's a term loan, which means you can basically pick how many years you want to amortize your loan over. So, for example, you're... You're 18 years into it. If you want to save, if you want to pay it off, if your goal is to pay it off in um, 13 years, we can amortize your, your your refinance over 13 years. Mm-hmm. Or, so or, we, he, yeah, or we can get him a lower rate, put him on a 10, and he can save more money that sure. way and pay it off sooner. So you do have options to go with. Don, I, I okay, think... Go ahead, man. My, my, my thing is, is as I understand amortization, and I'm, I'm just a carpenter by trade, so I don't 100% understand it, but as I understand it, the majority of the interest is paid on the first half of the loan. There, there's fact. no question. What you're talking about is you've already paid down the interest. Now you're paying the principal. So does it really make sense for you to do? And that's your question. The answer is that we can run the numbers and check it out. There could be a possibility that you're at that critical point where you might not have to do anything. And we'll tell you that. We'll tell you straight up if it's a good idea to stick with what you got. Or because you're right, interest rate for you might be irrelevant at six and a half because you're cutting so deeply into your principal now. But we won't know that until we get the balance information, run the numbers, and see if we can save you any money. Don, yeah, here, 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 I agree here, with that. Don, here's here's what's cool, man. And you're a carpenter, and I think that, honestly, I'm not I'm not joking at all. I think being handy, I, I'm envious of, of you, and I, you know, you're, you're like you're my regular client. You're the guy that I want to take care of. What I can do for you is I'm gonna I'll run the numbers for you, and I'll see where I'll run what's called an amortization schedule, and I'll see where you're where you are right now, paying the principal versus the interest, and then uh, you know, we can figure something out. I mean, if if, if it, 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 it's, it's a whole number scenario, but let me call for the show and we'll figure it out. But I, I think there's definitely some, some savings there if you're at six and a half, for sure. Thanks. All right, thanks for the call, cool. Don. We're going to move Don. on here. We're going to call you right after the show again, 248-539-9797. I love the carpenters. Those guys, I mean, it's... it's it yeah, makes, they can do stuff. It's unbelievable. They can it's, build stuff. I'm so unhandy, it's emasculating. It's that bad now. You're not that bad, all right? <laughs> it's not good. I'm glad he talked about refinancing. As My, you mentioned, when, Alex... When your wife is making fun of you, like, babe, <laughs> babe, don't touch that. Right, you're going to break it. That's how bad it is. Um, of course, I'm glad he mentioned it, and uh, you can pick any years you want between 8 and 30 years. So, again, if you want to take a look at your numbers and how you can save money, also consider what everyone else is doing, consolidating those first and second mortgages. Hey, you can do it up to 9775 so you don't even have to have a lot of equity. You can get into a, an FHA mortgage that might save you a ton of money. Lots of different ways, whether you're looking to some cash out for home improvements, you've got your property taxes that might be due, those, those bills came out. Also, income taxes. You might find out that uh, Uncle Sam needs a few extra dollars from you lots of reasons to refinance your house and take advantage of what's going on out there plus we all have some new appreciation out there if you're a homeowner you've hung on and and battled through these tough years home values are starting to kick back depending upon where you're at definitely investigate it find out how you can save money let me go out to ashante out there in melvindale good morning ashante you're live on the ticket hi good morning how are you guys good morning how are you I'm well, thank you. I just have a question. Um, my husband and I, we're looking um, into purchasing a home. Um, he qualifies for a VA loan. However, at this time, um, his credit score, his middle credit score is a 590. So we, we've we been, um, I've been shopping with brokers and banks, and we've been pre-qualified uh, for a few places. 
But I just wanted to know, um, he has some signatures on his report based on what they're telling me that needs to be taken care of before we can continue on in the process. So I guess my question is, is how, I've, I've been told different things for different people, from different people. So I just wanted to know, what do you guys suggest in regards to, like, brokers and, you know, what they're telling you to pay off versus... Yeah. Um, in regards to uh, hey, uh, paying the loan. Yeah, Shanti, I'm going to tell you right now. Any, I think what they're trying to do is work with you to get your credit score up. Because at 590, there's no way you're going to be pre-qualified for anything. Yeah, they're, so they're so if, the advi- if the advice is go ahead and let's start paying some things off, make on-time payments, kind of reduce balances, I would agree with that. Because in time, your credit score is going to go up. But if somebody blatantly told you right this second that you qualify for a mortgage, at a 590 credit score, they're not giving you the proper advice. They're lying to you, quite frankly. <laughs> That's not nice. But Ashanti, thanks for the yeah, call. He, Alex says lie. Okay, I say they're just not giving you the proper advice. So let's call it. Let's call Ashanti, it. They're, they're lying to you. Here's what I want to do. I'm going to call you for the show. I want to run your husband's credit report, and I want to run it through our software we have that tells us what he has to pay off or pay down and the impact it'll have on his credit report. So simple. We're definitely okay. going to take care of cool. you. Yeah. Give me like 20 minutes. I'll call you right back. Okay, thank cool. you. Cool. Thank you. All right, I actually wrote this down last night, guys. I wrote, nice. learn I like the process. Well, that's an, ex- that's an excellent call. It get, gets back to the credit report, the credit scores. Well, how can you say to somebody in, you know, in good right, faith? Going this, yeah. I, yeah, how I'm can saying, you say it? It, it helps me out here. I, I actually feel bad saying this. I wrote this I'm down. Saying, but pre- when clients call me that have either gone elsewhere to get a mortgage and they're coming to us and checking us out, or it, it, I'm embarrassed. I'm not kidding. You, a lot of folks out there need to get educated on this stuff. Again, why not? Learn what it takes to be successful on your mortgage. It's the most expensive thing you're going to pay for. Uh, more importantly, there's so many opportunities to save money that a lot of families just miss because they're not educated on the process. Well, it's the dissemination of accurate versus inaccurate information, my man. Talk there you about go. that. 590 is not good. 248-539-9797. Uh, we've got morning, a... David. David, good morning. You're live on the ticket. Hey, guys. How are you? Morning, Hi, sir. David. I got a uh, former primary resident. Uh, a home in Lake Orion that I closed in July 2003. It's no longer my primary residence. I have a tenant in there, and I want to refinance. Uh, It's not underwritten by uh, Freddie or Fannie, um, and I'm upside down in it, and I didn't know if you guys had any ideas. Here's here's the thing, David. I would contact that servicer and see what they'll do for you. What rate are you paying right now? About six and three quarters. Six and three quarters. So you bought it in 2003, and it's upside down right now? It hasn't come back at all? No, not yet. Lake Orion is a solid area right now. That's I'm surprised it doesn't yeah. come back. What, what was the purchase price on that? Uh, about one seventy six. And what do you owe right now? About one forty five. Ugh. How many square feet is that house? Um, it's about nine hundred. Um, uh, small. And about it's got a finished walkout though that has about. Yeah. 800 extra square feet, but yeah. it's not going to... Right. Yeah. David, you sound like an educated guy. Yeah, You're sure. using all the terms and everything like that. Did you Have you tried to refinance? Did somebody tell you your property's underwater, or are you just guessing? You know, I haven't tried to refinance it because we bought another house, and I wanted, you know, such a small house that we had to yeah. get into a bigger house. So I I'd was like focusing to do it. on getting a new house first. Yeah, sure. David, I'd like to do an appraisal on that and, and see what... I, Lake Orion is really solid, man. I mean, yeah. I'm surprised it hasn't come back It's yet. just the catch is he's under 1,000 square feet, but he's got that awesome walkout uh, finished base. It doesn't count as square yeah, footage. Yeah, That's David, right. David, David, let me do this. Let me call you for the show. Uh, let's do an appraisal, and if we can't do anything, we'll put you on the right track with, uh, you know, maybe an attorney that can negotiate that right down for you. One more question, guys. No, no worries. Yeah. What's up? Um, how do I find out who actually holds the mortgage? My mortgage has been sold about 10 times. It's a servicing company that I pay the mortgage to right now. And every time I ask them who the lender is, who they're servicing the loan for, it's they won't tell me. It's them. It's them. It's them. They're servicing so, it, the it, loan. The, 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 people, the, the people on your bill is who's holding the loan. You know, you can get a payoff letter. Ask for a payoff letter. Yeah, because it's a servicing company, so I'm assuming they're just doing it for the bank. Well, not, which, you know, not they might be subservicing for somebody, but here's the situation. Call them up and ask them for a payoff letter. Get a payoff okay. letter, and on there it'll tell you who to make the pay, you know, who to pay off the mortgage. Okay. And, and it'll Sounds say, good, guys. right. Cool. Thanks, David. Thanks for the call. Actually, it brings up a great point. Hey, if you're out there and you're considering maybe renting your house, you want to refinance that as it's your primary residence now. It's yeah. a lot harder to refinance those rentals. Yeah, that's it. All right, another we version. Done? We are done. Can, I stick, can we stick around and like, do the show with Pat? You might be able to hang out with Pat. He might throw you out of here, though. Pat might kick us out. <laughs> Speaking so of Pat, good. we got Pat Caputo coming up next. He's got sports, social commentary, for Capital Mortgage. I'm Harvey Free. we got Harry Glanz, Alex Nafusi. Call us all week long. 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best Go mortgage green. banker. Go green.
Hi, Harry Glanz for Capital Mortgage Funding. Rates are at historic lows, and they're not going down to zero. So what are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE and let our award-winning staff help you save money. If you're looking to purchase a new home, refinance your existing home, and you want to save money, call 1-800-LOW-RATE and take advantage of these historic low rates. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE, the best mortgage banker. Capital Mortgage Funding is a proud division of United Shore Financial Services, NMLS number 3038, equal housing lender. What are you waiting for? Call 1-800-LOW-RATE. We may not be able to lower the cost of gas, but we can do something about how many miles you will drive per gallon. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store today and let us help you increase the performance of your car or truck. Simple things like replacing your air filter, changing worn out spark plugs, and using fuel injector cleaner can add up to better fuel economy and big savings. There's an O'Reilly Auto Parts store close to you that has the name brands, low prices, and people who can help. Open clogged injectors, smooth a rough idle, and restore lost power with gum out fuel system cleaner on sale for $3.99 at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Maximize fuel economy and improve your engine's performance. Stop by your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store today and pick up gum out fuel system cleaner for $3.99. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. How much time a week do you spend watching TV? More than you probably should? What if you could cut back just a fraction of that time to do something that could change your life, like learn another language? If learning a language appeals to you, you're listening to this station at the perfect time. Because Rosetta Stone is celebrating its Language for Life event with a life-changing offer. We're offering every caller an app.